so today is the morning of my biopsy today and it is 6 25 in the morning the last time i saw the clock this time i was in high school so i'm quite tired today so um yeah uh we're all getting ready to go and i'm just going to wear mascara like i cannot be bothered to wear makeup today i just i just no it's just because i want to come back and i just want to take like a nap so i'm just gonna wear some mascara so yep that is what i am doing and i'm gonna make some tea and just grab my purse and get ready to go because i'm supposed to be leaving here in like five minutes because if you live near the gr area grand rapids um downtown is quite um quite busy when it comes to traffic so that is what I'm doing. So let's go make some tea. guys so it is now um, a little after 11 o'clock and um, I am all done with my biopsy um, I'm not going to show you right now because I'm in the car um, but I'll show you in a little bit um, kind of hurts with my arm but everything went really really well uh, the biopsy went really good uh, the doctors um, yeah, it went really smoothly. They said it was supposed to take an hour for each lump and, um, or a half hour for each lump, so an hour total in the procedure, but I was only there for about 35 to 40 minutes, so it went really fast, really smooth. It didn't hurt at all. Um, the most annoying part was, because it was my left breast, so I had to lay kind of on my side, and I had to have my arm um, up over my head, and my arm kept falling asleep, so... Um, you know, that was the most annoying part is my arm falling asleep. Sorry, my lips are so broken and chapped, but it's like a nervous habit for me to chew on my lips when I'm nervous because, let's face it, this is kind of a nerve-wracking situation. But, yeah, so just kind of ignore that because this is a very HD camera. So, sorry about my appearance, but, um, yeah, I'm all done and it went really well. I just have a little kind of, like, bandeau sports bra thing on and um, some ice so I have to ice it for five to six hours, half hour on, half hour off, um, all day today. So that's what I'm doing. Right now we are at a Chinese place because I'm getting Chinese food uh, for lunch. I'm with my mom right now and my sister is taking care of the dogs for me and she will be taking care of me today since she's going to school to become a nurse. Um, her skills will come in handy for helping me today. So, but yeah, it went really well. Um, if any of you have ever had a breast biopsy before it, you know, it, it isn't, it isn't that bad. Nothing hurt about it. Um, the only thing I could really feel was just pressure and, um, the numbing medication, um, being shot into my boob. Um, but that wasn't bad. I mean, I have piercings, so that didn't, it didn't really feel any different than a piercing. So yeah, it wasn't bad. The doctors were really nice. Um, I was in a really nice room. I had a recliner, a heated blanket. I had, um, cable TV. Sorry if I was like down here, didn't mean to do that. Um, but yeah, I had like cable TV. I had a recliner, so it was really nice. Um, it was a really good experience. The thing that kind of, um, 
scared me and shocked me the most was uh, the fact that afterwards I felt extremely dizzy and very, very lightheaded. Like, and I've never felt that way before, so I was like kind of scared. So I was able to walk back to my seat and I sat down and they brought me some water, a blanket, and they brought like a whole bunch of snacks and they told me to eat um, because I didn't eat you know, in the morning before I left because I never do. That's just way too early. So, um, yeah, I just felt very dizzy. That was kind of scary, but they said it was fine, normal. So, yeah, that's um, how it went. I'll update you guys in a little bit after I get my food. Love you. Hey guys, so it is now um, almost six o'clock and I ate all of my Chinese and I took a really long nap and I've just been watching YouTube videos and kind of trying to take it easy. Um, hopefully I'm in focus, I can't really see, but, um, yeah, I kind of wanted to show you guys my little, um, incisions. Hopefully I can try to show you the best that I can without flashing you, but, yeah, um, I'm feeling okay. The, uh, numbness has worn off completely, so I'm feeling pretty, pretty sore right now. The side... Um, one hurts more than the top one because I had one uh, here and then I had one to the side and the side one hurts um, hurts more than the top one so hang on I'll try to get this okay so here's basically what I'm working with right now I have my ice pack and I'm icing um, every half hour on and then a half hour off so that's what it looks like um, it's a little like stained because they had uh, like a bandage with an ice pack before I left and I just have some gauze and um, just some tape there. If you're queasy I would probably look away because I'm going to show you my little incisions right now but yeah so there they are. Okay so here's a better shot of what they look like. So they went in here and then they went in down here so they went these two spots and my boob actually looks ginormous to me because um, it's a little swollen from the incision so my boob looks gigantic and mind you I have really tiny A cups so to look down and see my boob all swollen is kind of a kind of a crazy thing but yeah so that's basically what they look like I just have this little steri tape um, over top of them and then I just have the gauze laying there so this is basically what my area looks like now um, just icing it just trying to um, you know rest so, yeah I've just been resting oh I never showed you guys I moved my futon in here and I got my new bedding all situated I'll have to show you another time though but I've just been um you know just relaxing laying back taking some time. I haven't had to take any Tylenol yet. Like, I'm not in that much pain, but, you know, I'm just laying down. Ugh. It's a little bit sore. But I have Mr. Motley with me and Jackaberry. So, I have to be really careful of this guy so he doesn't jump on me because that would hurt. But, yeah, it went really well and I'm happy it's over. So, hopefully the results are good and if they're not then we'll just take the next step so this vlog could either be a really really good vlog or it could be a, a life-changing event and hopefully i can catch um the phone call on camera so you guys can kind of hear the results with me i will try my hardest so yeah that's the plan but i'm really glad it's over and it really wasn't that bad it went a lot smoother than i thought it would so and my sister's doing a good job of playing nurse. She's like changing my ice packs and stuff so I'll probably replace my gauze tonight you know just to keep it clean and uh, yeah so that's my night. Um, I'll vlog if anything else changes but for right now that's basically what's going on. Um, yeah today was a pretty good day so I'm happy with it. So yeah I just want you guys to know that I'm okay. I'm not sad. I'm not um, bitter or anything. I feel pretty good. I'm happy. I'm staying positive. I definitely wouldn't be able to if it wasn't for all the nice comments I've been getting. Um, I've been updating as best as I can. So yeah, it's just really nice to hear all the support. So yeah, 
I really appreciate it, but um, I'm gonna rest now and um, maybe eat something because I'm still hungry. Um, it's ladies month next week, so I'm like really, really hungry all the time, you know? So I'm probably gonna eat something and relax. And the Red Wings play tonight. Um, it's a big game against Tampa, so I'll probably watch that with my dad. Yeah, that's what I'm doing tonight. Um, I will vlog in a little bit. I love you guys. Spots on your right, near, excuse me, your left breast that we looked at. And both of those came back as what's called a fibroadenoma. Uh, they might have talked to you about that prior to the procedure. That's probably what they thought they were. Uh, but they both came back as a fibroadenoma. And that's benign. It's not cancer. It's not going to change at any point. Any point to change into cancer. Uh, so they're just fibroadenomas, benign things. Um, sometimes uh, in the future, sometimes they can get a little bit bigger, maybe cause you some discomfort if that happens. Uh, you might want to have them removed, but okay. at this point, uh, they're both benign, and we don't need to do anything more. Awesome. Uh, so, um, any questions about the instructions that you were given at all? Um, nope, not at all. Everything's going really well. You use the ice and the Tylenol? Yes. Okay. No bleeding that you've noticed at that spot? Nope. Are you satisfied with the care you received here yesterday? Yes, I was. All right. Okay, Brian. Well, I'm glad things were turned out well for you. Me too. Thank you very much. Okay, you're very welcome. Bye bye. Bye. Yay! <laughs> so happy. Let's call mom. Mm-hmm. Like, no, no. No, let's not do that. That's not funny. They call late. I do. Hello. Hi, Mom. Hi, what you doing? I just got a call. Yeah? It's not cancer. Okay, good. Oh, that's wonderful news. I know. On either, on either one of them? Nope, they were both clear. Okay. Did they tell you what to do going forward now? Yeah, they said I need to start going for yearly mammograms when I turn 30. And okay. um, I have to continue to do uh, breast exams twice a month. And, okay. um, and if they get bigger. Yeah, and if they get bigger, then I should have them removed, but they won't turn into anything. Just if they get bigger and, you know, obviously deformed looking, then I need to get them removed. But I don't have to do anything else. You don't have to do anything with them right now, but they were both benign. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful news. I know. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Huh? I know. You feel a lot better? Yeah. Me and Brooke started crying. <laughs> what? Me and Brooke started crying. Did you? Yeah. Uh, did you tell Dad? Not yet. Okay. Okay. Well, good, honey. Wow. You'll sleep better tonight. Yeah. I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Good news, Red Fruity. Yay fruit. Yay fruit. <laughs> <laughs>